so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, install Pro Tools on Yosemite 10.10.3 and you see I have my Pro Tools right here 10.10.3.10 um, for some reason when you try to install Pro Tools on Yosemite this is the error message it give you I know a lot of people have been having this problem it's basically saying you can't install it on um, Yosemite you actually got to install it on a version 10.75 or a little higher than 10.75 which is Mountain Lion so today, today I'm going to show you how to get past it okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your, your um, on your top of your menu, menu and go to go go to my computer then you're going to go to your hard drive so then you're going to go to system then you're going to go to uh, library you're going to look for system cores so you look for system cores, which will be, uh, I mean core core services, I'm sorry, it is called core services. This one right here, you tap on it. So then you're going to go down here, and you're going to look for this right here, system version P list. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to tap on this, and if you have the right click on your mouse, then you can copy it. But if not, you have to hit the command C. You know how to copy stuff, so you're going to copy this one. This is the original folder right here. And you're going to paste it on the desktop. See, right here. So then you're going to go right here. And you're going to want to right click again on the one that's inside of the system um, cores. And you're going to open with Text X. So when you go inside of here, and as you can see, when you try to do anything in here, it's not going to let you because this is the original one. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit duplicate. So when you hit duplicate, it opens up another one. So then you want to go right here, and you're going to take this, you're going to edit this out, and we're going to put it as a 10.9. So you're going to do this one, and you're going to do this one right here. We're just going to put it as 9. So then we're going to go to the close, and when you close out, it's going to ask you to save. So you're going to want to save it inside of documents. So it's going to save inside of documents. So once it's save inside of documents, you're going to close this out. And you're going to go inside of, um, you're going to go inside your documents. And you should see that folder in there. You're going to, um, got quite a couple stuff in here. You're going to see the folder. It's going to say system version copy the one you just saved. You're going to click on it until you be able to one second edit this hold on okay here we go so you're gonna get rid of the copy version I mean you're gonna get rid of the copy and you're gonna put dot p list so once you do that you're gonna hit enter and then you're gonna be like it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to change? You say, instead of putting keep text, you want to use use P list. So you tap on this, use P list. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is go back up here and open up a new window. Okay. Because in this new window, we're going to do the same thing. Again, we're going to go back to my computer. So we're going to go right here and we're going to go to my computer. And then we're going to um, go to your hard drive again, system, library, core services. But this time we're going to take the one from the documents and we're going to drag it into here. Just drop it in there. And then you're going to hit authenticate. So yes, you're going to hit authenticate. Okay. So you're going to hit replace. Enter your password. Okay, if you notice that I still have the P list, the original P list version on top of here on, on the desktop because I'm going to show you guys what to do when you get done. So then we're going to go back to install Pro Tools. Give it a second. 
Then you continue. Continue. I agree. And bam, you're installing it. Into your password. Continue installation. 